we will be adding Vue to the application built in the Adonis JS5 from scratch course. So to get started, let's download the source code from the GitHub repo. Download the code and follow the readme to set it up. I have already done this. Once we have the code, now let's install and set up Encore, which is a wrapper on top webpack for compiling and serving front-end assets. When creating a fresh Adonis JS application, we have the option of selecting whether or not we want to enable Encore. But since this isn't a fresh application, we are going to manually add Encore to the application. We can do that with the configure command. So node is configure, then Encore. This will create the webpack config file, as well as an app.js file, which will be our entry point. Then it will install the webpack Encore package. Let's take a look at the webpack config file. As you can see, it contains some default configurations, which for the most part of this course will remain the same. The output part has been set to public slash assets. Then the public URL has been set to slash assets, which is relative to the public directory. Then we have a single entry point, which points to the app.js file that was created earlier, which you can find inside resources slash js, then app.js. For now, it is empty. This is where we are going to initialize view, which we'll look at in the next lesson. When compiled, the output will be inside the public directory, as per the output path set inside the webpack config file. So we need to reference the compiled assets in the layout file. And we can do that by making use of the entry point scripts. Let's add it underneath here. At entry point script. And this accepts the name of the script in our case, which is app, which is what is defined here. Now let's compile the asset, though we don't really have anything in it, but just to see how it works. We can compile the assets with the serve command. And because we have installed and configured Encore, the serve command will now compile and serve front-end assets in addition to starting the server. So node is serve. We can also run this in watch mode. For now, we're not going to run it in watch mode. As you can see, the webpack dev server is running. The server has been started and the asset has been compiled. Now, if we take a look at the public directory, we should see the assets directory where we have the entry points.json file which simply map the entry points to their respective assets and manifest.json which points the file path to the respective URL. You notice the front-end asset is served on port 8018. So whenever we do asset slash app.js in our edge files, it will point to this. To make sure everything is working, let's open this in the browser. And open the source code. We should see that the correct part is being used, just as we expected. Before we wrap up this lesson, let's make sure this script is being deferred, just as we have it here. We can specify that in the Asset Manager config, but because we manually added Encore to our application, the Asset Manager config is currently not available in our application. So we are going to copy it directly from the GitHub repo. This is the template file for the app config. If we scroll down to the bottom, we will see the asset manager config details, which we are going to grab, then head over to VS Code and paste it inside app.cs. Of course, we need to pull in the application and asset manager config import application from Adonis core application and import. Asset Manager config from, from Adonis slash core slash asset manager. As you can see, the driver has been set to Encore. For now, Adonis JS only provides just one driver, which is Encore. And the public part has been set to public slash assets, just as we have it inside the webpack config file. Then we have a script section and a style section. So this is what we need. So as seen on the on script tag, we we'll add the following attributes. For now, we set the file to true. So if I save this, then we compile this. Now if we head back to the browser and refresh this, you notice the script tag has been updated. We now have the defer attribute. So that is how to manually install and set up Encore in an existing Adonis.js application. In the next lesson, we will install and configure Vue.